Exterior furniture tends to take a battering from the elements, so giving it a fresh coat of paint every now and again is a great way to keep it looking fresh or even to upcycle it in the way we're going to do with this bench. This video is about how to prep, prime and paint a bench so that it lasts a lifetime. So the place to start with this uh, exterior furniture, so this bench for example, is to get a real stiff wire brush and get rid of that top layer of dirt and any paint flakes that might be there. So give it a good scrub down and then afterwards clean it down with warm soapy water just to make sure you've got that flake free, super clean surface to work with. So once you've finished with kind of prepping that initial surface, you'll need to get the sander out. So you can either use a palm sander, so an electric sander if you like, if you've got that, or just good old fashioned sandpaper. Um, depending on how much paint is layered on, you may need to start with a coarse grit, so a rougher sandpaper, and then move down to medium. Likewise on the metal, just get it back to a smooth surface as much as possible, and a nice rough edge that's gonna take that paint, and it'll give you a much better result. If you come across any holes in the wood, you can also use a bit of water-based wood filler, let it dry, then sand it back again. So next up, you wanna give the bench uh, a bit of a wipe down again. So we've done removing the flaky paint, we've given it a bit of a sand, just get all of those bits off, get it down to a nice clean surface so that we can look at painting it. It's important to do this so you don't end up with a load of bits in your final paint finish. So again, Warm soapy water is enough, just give it that final wipe down before we move on to paint. So the next step for this bench, um, we're looking at primer. So it's a question we get a lot of whether or not you need to prime, and typically the answer to that is no, unless you've got a surface that's particularly unstable or something like UPVC that's, that's kind of shiny, um, the paint will provide a layer for that, that kind of adhesion and that paint to stick to. In this case for the bench, we are going to prime the metal pieces um, because it's quite, quite unstable. There's a little bit of rust there, so we're using an exterior primer that's suitable for rust. Um, but for the wood itself, we're not going to prime it. It's quite a nice rough surface anyway, um, and coat paint is self-priming, um, so we won't actually need to use it there. So we're going to prime the metal bits, leave the wood bits and crack on uh, in a second with the painting. So you want to apply it just using a two inch brush or even a one inch if you've got tricky areas, but one smooth, even layer of primer and give it a couple of hours to dry um, and it will create that really, really nice surface to paint on. So we've put the effort in now to prime this bench and get it ready for that first coat of paint. So getting it sanded down, cleaned up, primed on the metal um, and we're ready to go with the paint. So when you're using coat paints, just on the first coat, we're gonna do two coats. On the first coat, use uh, a reasonable amount of paint, but not too much. So don't worry too much if it looks a bit streaky on the first coat, that's totally normal. Um, the second coat will clear that up. Um, and actually you want a really even layer um, of paint on the first coat so you don't get drips. And especially with things like this bench that have kind of some ornate detailing down the side and kind of lots of gaps. We're going for that really kind of thin first layer, um, following the grain of the wood uh, as much as possible. Um, and then we're gonna let it dry before we come on to that second coat. So we're on to the second coat now of this bench. So we've allowed it to dry. We're outside, so it's dried pretty quickly in a couple of hours, but you might need a bit, a bit longer depending on the weather, two to four hours. Um, but it's looking good. As I said before, not to worry too much if it looks a bit streaky on the first coat, totally normal. The second coat that we're gonna apply now using a foam roller will give it that really smooth, uniform finish. Um, and actually the two coats means it's gonna last um, a lot longer. So we'll crack on, get the foam roller on and give this bench uh, a second coat of paint. So that's it, we've walked through all of the steps from kind of that initial prep and clean down, sand and a bit of a prime um, to a couple of coats of paint. And as you can see, this bench is looking completely transformed from the Facebook marketplace, slight mess that it was at the beginning um, and into something really nice and upcycled that's gonna have a lot more years 
left in it. So step by step, it's taken us probably four hours, including drying time, so not too bad at all, um, and only a, a less than a litre um, of the paint to get this. So yeah, definitely encourage you to give it a go, look at what you can upcycle, um, and hopefully use this as a helpful guide to, yeah, tackling wood and metal outside.